620 is your time. We're joined by a couple of guests. We have Rebecca Ulrich and Tori Grieving in this morning. You guys are part of the Angel of Hope Garden in Palmyra. I've done a few stories with you guys, and you guys have an event coming up this week. The 15th, October 15th, is Pregnancy and Infant Loss uh, Day. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are having a balloon release, or I'm sorry, a, a lantern release. Yes. Tell me about that. Oh, it's the first time that we're going to do this. Um, one of the other committee members, she has been lighting lanterns for the loss of her son. So she's like, I think this would be a good idea for the communities. Um, so I ordered 200 lanterns, and we're going to do this on Thursday. And now I've seen, you know, your previous stories we've done with you before. Where did you get the idea to come up with this? Um, actually, today is my daughter Maddie's. She would be 11 years old today. Um, so she's been my inspiration to bring this project to our area. Mm -hmm. um, we have a brick down in St. Charles, which was on the last mm -hmm. um, news story. Sure, the Angel of Hope Garden. Uh huh. So a few years ago, I thought, you know what, we need one. There's too many people around here that have had a loss, whether it be infant or child or teenager. There's so many in our area mm -hmm. that have had a loss, so we need one. And just coming together too, I'm sure it might help you even seeing other parents or you know them seeing you and hearing you know how you were doing and talking with you too. That's also important in this as well. Well, it brought us together. We it didn't did. know each other before. Yeah, because you're from Palmyra, you're from Quincy, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And uh, you know we mentioned Maddie, so Rebecca will mention your daughter Miranda too. Is is your inspiration for doing this? She is. Tell people how they can get involved in this lantern release on Thursday. Um, it's in Palmyra, October 15th, actually, um, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. That was made in uh, 2007 by a Tom, what we say, Latham. He was a congressman, congressman okay. I think is what it said. Um, and this month is actually Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month as well. And that was made in 1988 by Ronald Reagan. Um, so in Thursday specifically, it's in Palmyra where the statue's going to mm -hmm. be. Which is Flower City Park. We haven't yes. failed to mention that. It's, yes. it's $5 per lantern? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to start selling them at 6.30? Between 6 and 6.30 whenever. And we're going to release them at 7 because on October 15th, they have what we call a wave of light. If everybody who's lost a child or anybody, you light a candle for an hour from 7 to 8, and it makes a 24-hour wave of light on that day throughout okay. the entire okay. world. Wow, that's interesting. <clears throat> so how can people get involved? Just show up at about mm -hmm. 630 at yeah. Flower City Park? Yep. Is there a specific place at Flower City Park they need to go? At the actual where we're going to have the garden, um, it's actually called Memorial Drive. It's um, we'll have signs. Okay. And then uh, we also went, the last time you guys were here, we had a dinner. You guys hosted a dinner. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty successful for you guys. So you yeah. guys are going to move ahead with this garden mm -hmm. and start construction in the spring. People yes. will be able to buy bricks in memory of their lost loved ones. They can go to the website to purchase them or contact one of us. Okay. And what is that website? Um, Angel of Hope Palmyra org. Okay, Angel of Hope Palmyra org. Mm -hmm. And also, just wanted to point out too, our previous stories with you are online right now at khqa.com. You can find those if you do want to read some of the backstory. Chad did a really beautiful piece, probably what a couple months ago. It was um, in July. July did a really it nice piece. So if you do want to hear more of the backstory on that piece, beautiful story online right now. We're also on Facebook. Okay. And if we do events, it's always posted on Facebook. Good, because the money raised from the lantern will help. Yeah. go to the statue and in the garden. They can just type in at the top Angel of Hope Palmyra and they'll find it. It's key to the Palmyra thing because there's Angel of Hope gardens all over the all world. All over, yeah. right. That's it's good. not just there, but that's how you find ours because there's everywhere. Sure. Well, ladies, thanks again for coming in this morning and thank you again for helping sh shed awareness and open up people's eyes because I think this is an important topic that sometimes gets overlooked and shoved under a rug and, and you guys are helping bring it to light. So we appreciate that. Thank you.